Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Asia, my queen. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? So today we are going to have a mental health day. I put in my PTO, got it approved, and said, listen, I want to do what I want to do today. I'm going to do what I want to do. Whatever I want to do. I don't want to be on a schedule. I don't want to be rushing nowhere. So we're at the gym right now. Um, I'm going to do 30 minute stairs and work my upper body a little bit. Let's take some pre-workout tittle or I love my outfit today too. Whoa. She's looking cute, looking cute. Now it's time to get strong. I'm gonna wear my, my knitted bag. It has like a flap. It's so comfy and soft. Okay, so um, I'm about to get a pedicure, but I want to tell you guys about a feeling I just got. So let me tell you a little story. When I was like 20, 21, I had this really big crush on this person, right? And I had messaged this person and I was like, hey, can we hang out? And I told, oh, okay, okay. I told the person like everything that I wanted to do and stuff like that. They just replied, can't. Like that was it, can't. No explanation, which I wasn't owed, but no, hey, can we do it another day? Nothing, just can't. And my feelings were so hard. Oh my God, when I tell you, like, I was crushed. Cause I had this like thing in my head about us before we even met. So it just, it just ruined it all, right? It ruined, it ruined what we could have been. No, I'm joking. But um, I was around my friends, so I just, didn't say anything I just deleted the thread I didn't even read it nothing and I was like okay moving on <laughs> so when I was in the shower today I got reminded of that time so for years when I would think about that day I would literally rip myself into shreds I'd be like oh my god like you were so stupid for asking this person that you liked to hang out with you like that's not that big of a deal but so the fact that I was rejected would always put me in the space of oh you shouldn't have done that or or you know you're so stupid for doing that see that's why your daddy left you like shit like that right but today when that situation came into my head I was like oh my god that's so cool like you felt this way about this person it was so natural for me to be like yeah you liked them that's what you do when you like somebody. Like, you wanna be around them, like what the fuck? The fact that I did that was such proof that I've been a doing a really good job mothering myself. How amazing is it to like somebody? You know, imagine never having a crush, never liking somebody. Boring. I'm sorry, boring. 
fucking boring. Guys, <clears throat> let me just say, my toes look a mess. Long story short, they broke. Let me show you. Like this toe, this toenail like needs to be longer. You know, like it's all like, oh hell no. Oh my God, oh my God. Being the gym girly that I am, <clears throat> They break so easily and the gel makes them so thin. So I was like, I'm done with gel. This is the first time I've got regular nail polish in like five, six years. <laughs> so I don't know how long regular nail polish usually lasts. I feel like the nail polish at the nail salon lasts a lot longer than that Sally, Sally, what is it? Sally Henricks or some shit. So hopefully, they don't chip super easy. Anyways, I'm at the bookstore. The other day I found a guided journal about gratitude. And I was like, mm, I think I'm gonna come back and get this. Let me show you guys the stuff that I got. So I got this journal. It's very, very special because it has like a lock in it. And then look at the texture of the pages. Like it's like an old book texture. It's so, so cute. I'm gonna make this my manifestation journal. And it just, it feels like a book of secrets, you know? Then I got this gratitude journal. Um, it says brave, kind, and grateful, a daily gratitude journal. And I wanna do this every day in the morning when I wake up. And I like this because it's not asking me too many damn questions. A lot of the gratitude journals that I was seeing was like, when was the first time you, and I'm like, okay, in the morning, I don't need all these damn questions. I just, what are you grateful for? One, two, three. That is it. That is it. And then I also got this book called The Positive, The Body Positive Journal. So lately I've just been really hard on myself about going to the gym and weight gain, weight loss, what my body looks like, what it may look like to other people, what looks good on, like all these things things worried about the way my body looks to other people and I just want to appreciate my body for what it is right at this moment not after I do sit-ups not after I do this not ap not after I eat a salad not after I eat something bad not what it looks like to this person how what angle is the most flat I, I'm just tired I gotta do the gig because you fucked me up. <laughs> 